This is the Business Agility video series, which you can watch in any order. I'm David Siegel. In each video, I spend about five minutes unpacking one of these concepts from Business Agility. This video is about Bayesian reasoning. To get a feel for Bayesian reasoning, we'll start with a classic example from Bayesian statistics. I'm going to make up a new disease called nose cancer. We know ahead of time that this disease is found in 1% of the population. Now we have a test to detect this disease, and the test is 98% accurate. You look in the mirror and your nose is red, so you go to the doctor. As we've already learned, this is likely a mistake. You probably just have a cold. But the doctor looks at your nose, recommends you get a biopsy, and two days later you get the call. Sure enough, you test positive for nose cancer. Now, given a positive test, what are the chances that you actually have the disease? I invite you to try to figure it out now. Just stop the video here and work out your answer before continuing. To put it in perspective, let's look at what we know before you take the test. About 1% of the population has nose cancer, and 99% doesn't. Now let's give everyone the test. For people who have the disease, almost everyone will test positive. There will only be a few false negatives, that is, people who have the disease, but the test incorrectly says that they don't. In the general population, 2% of those who don't have the disease will test positive, and that's where the problem lies. False positives outnumber true positives by about 2 to 1. So even if you test positive, the chances that you actually have the disease are around 32%. It's far more likely that you don't have the disease, even though the test is 98% accurate. Did you get that? The test by itself tells us far less than understanding the test in context. You might be surprised to learn that studies repeatedly show that only 15% of doctors do this kind of math properly. Another way to say it is that there's an 85% chance that your doctor doesn't understand the basic calculations needed to make good decisions on your behalf. Bayesian statistics is an important analytical tool. Most stati statisticians are trained to recognize Bayesian problems and always take into account the base rate, the prior probabilities. Bayesian reasoning is the idea of applying the same basic approach, often with less precision, to problems we face daily. Examples of Bayesian reasoning come up all the time. For instance, if someone on your team has the idea to build an iPhone app and sell it, and people at the meeting come up with a list of great features that the app should have, then you want to put that new project in context. What do we know? Well, we know a priori that there are over a million apps in the Apple App Store, and that 80% of these don't make any money ever. This 80% figure is made of so much data that it would take a lot of new evidence to convince us that our, that our odds are different. In the absence of a strong differentiator, we should expect only a 20% chance for this project to make money, regardless of how cool the new features are. Those might actually be good odds for a startup, so the decision depends on your context. We've seen that the context for evaluating decisions is important. People who do Bayesian reasoning try to maintain a database of prior probabilities in their heads for things they encounter, and there are resources online for finding priors. The more prior information you have, the more difficult it should be for new information to move your belief away from your prior belief. Because we all have different experiences, Different people will have different prior beliefs. So in Bayesian reasoning, you first try to get everyone at the same level of prior before discussing how much the new information changes the odds. While it makes sense to use Bayesian reasoning to decide whether to go forward with a project, once the decision is made, plenty of evidence also shows that enthusiasm and total commitment to customer, 
customer satisfaction can make or break the execution of the project. There are times to be a Bayesian, there are times to be a Fox, and there are times to break the rules to make customers happy. This is what business agility is all about. Come to businessagilityworkshop.com and get started on your journey.